Nashville Fabrication is a family business. My wife and I are the owners now. Our company was founded in 2007. We started off in a small area of my grandfather's business. Nashville Fab currently serves, um, I would say, industrial, um, commercial. We do um, do quite a bit of work for municipalities, uh, small governments or cities. We have expanded into a, a lot of different areas from barge companies to tornado shelters to recycling machines. There's really not an industry that I don't think we haven't touched. Not only do we do a lot of the fabrication, we also have an erection side of the business and that we are a one-stop shop as far as fab, field crew, erect. So I think that kind of sets us apart. I would describe our operation before our purchase of the petting house equipment as being in the Stone Age. We, we took a giant leap forward from doing virtually every operation by hand to taking some of that responsibility and the factors of error and things out of the equation by adding our automation. We added one person to operate the equipment and essentially do the work of adding eight people. Some of the major projects that Nashville Fab has done that we're most proud of is the uh, Nashville Sounds Baseball Stadium. We were an integral part in, in really putting that together and erecting and, and our field crews down there putting that stadium together. We've built a large tire plant down in South Carolina for Michelin. We did the airport expansion. We've done the Music City Center, which was a large convention center here in Nashville. We've, we're putting a large oil pipeline facility together um, about an hour and a half south of Houston. And the uh, HCA hospital that we're doing in Austin, Texas for St. David's was a huge vertical expansion and erection for us. We did the fab. We pride ourselves, you know, just kind of being problem solvers and having that aptitude of we can do a lot of things. And we can get it done, but getting it done fast when they need it, that can be the issue. With the Ring of Fire, it has helped us out tremendously putting trucks on the road to get to the job sites to put the steel up. One of the more unique things we ran were these beams for trailers that haul oil drill pipe up to an oil drill platform and it had a hundred and some odd, 105, 110 holes down through it. A 12 inch hole down to a 5 8 hole and they were taking approximately 8 to 10 hours to manufacture those and we could cut one in just right at 30 minutes. So from start to finish. So it was good. We purchased the Ring of Fire primarily was for the ends of our stair stringers. Building that many stair stringers every year, there's a lot of copes on the ends and many times there's lots of holes too. So it was try I was trying to find a single machine to take up the least amount of floor space in the shop, process holes and process the ends of the channels and or lay out the channel for stair treads, clips, miscellaneous items like that. So that one person could program it and essentially make sure that the product was gonna end up right. And it increased our capacity at least five fold, at least five fold. <laughs>